Yashar Jasher 6. At that time, after the death of Methuselah, Yahuwah said to Noah, Go you with your household into the ark. Behold, I will gather to you all the animals of the earth, the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the air, and they shall all come and surround the ark. And you shall go and seat yourself by the doors of the ark, and all the beasts, the animals, and the fowls shall assemble and place themselves before you. And such of them as shall come and crouch before you shall you take and deliver into the hands of your sons who shall bring them to the ark. And all that will stand before you, you shall leave. And Yahuwah brought this about on the next day. And animals, beasts, and fowls came in great multitudes and surrounded the ark. And Noah went and seated himself by the door of the ark. And all, rather, and of all flesh that crouched before him, he brought into the ark. And all that stood before him, he left upon earth. And a lioness came with her two whelps, male and female, and the three crouched before Noah, and the two whelps rose up against the lioness and smote her and made her flee from her place and she went away and they returned to their places and crouched upon the earth before Noah and the lioness ran away and stood in the place of the lions and Noach saw this and wondered greatly. And he rose and took the two whelps and brought them into the ark. And Noach brought into the ark from all living creatures that were upon earth, so that there was none left but which Noach brought into the ark. Two and two came to Noah into the ark. But from the clean animals and clean fowls, he brought seven couples, as Elohim had commanded him. And all the animals and beasts and fowls were still there and they surrounded the ark at every place. And the rain had not descended till seven days after. And on that day, Yahuwah caused the whole earth to shake. And the sun darkened and the foundations of the world raged, and the whole earth was moved violently, and the lightning flashed, and the thunder roared, and all the fountains in the earth were broken up, such as was not known to the inhabitants rather, inhabitants before. And Elohim did this mighty act 
in order to terrify the sons of men, that there might be no more evil upon earth. And still, the sons of men would not return from their evil ways, and they increased the anger of Yahuwah at that time and did not even direct their hearts to all this. And at the end of seven days, in the 600th year of the life of Noah, the waters of the flood were upon the earth. And all the fountains of the deep were broken up. And the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And Noah and his household and all the living creatures that were with him came into the ark on account of the waters of the flood. And Yahuwah shut him in. And all the sons of men that were left upon the earth became exhausted through evil on account of the rain, for the waters were coming more violently upon the earth, and the animals and beasts were still surrounding the ark. And the sons of men assembled together about 700,000 men and women, and they came unto Noah to the ark. And they called to Noah, saying, Open for us, that we may come to you in the ark. And wherefore shall we die? And Noah, with a loud voice, answered them from the ark, saying, Have you not all rebelled against Yahuwah, and said that he does not exist? And therefore Yahuwah brought upon you this evil to destroy and cut you off from the face of the earth. Is not this the thing that I spoke to you of 120 years back and you would not hearken to the voice of Yahuwah. And now do you desire to live upon earth? And they said to Noah, We are ready to return to Yahuwah. Only open for us that we may live and not die. And Noah answered them, saying, Behold, now that you see the trouble of your souls, you wish to return to Yahuwah. Why did you not return during these hundred and twenty years, which Yahuwah granted you as the determined period? But now you come and tell me this, on account of the troubles of your souls. Now also Yahuwah will not listen to you, neither will he give ear to you on this day, so that you will not now succeed in your wishes. 
And the sons of men approached in order to break into the ark to come in on account of the rain, for they could not bear the rain upon them. And Yahuwah sent all the beasts and animals that stood round the ark, and the beasts overpowered them and drove them from that place. And every man went his way, and they again scattered themselves upon the face of the earth. And the rain was still descending upon the earth, and it descended forty days and forty nights. And the waters prevailed greatly upon the earth, and all flesh that was upon the earth or in the waters died, whether man, rather, whether men, animals, beasts, creeping things, or birds of the air. And there only remained Noah and those that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed, and they greatly increased upon the earth. And they lifted up the ark, and it was raised from the earth. And the ark floated upon the face of the waters, and it was tossed upon the waters, so that all the living creatures within were turned about like pottage in a cauldron. And great anxiety seized all the living creatures that were in the ark. And the ark was like to be broken. And all the living creatures that were in the ark were terrified. And the lions roared. And the oxen lowed. And the wolves howled. And every living creature in the ark spoke and lamented in its own language, so that their voices reached to a great distance. And Noah and his sons cried and wept in their troubles. They were greatly afraid that they had reached the gates of death. And Noah prayed unto Yahuwah, and cried unto him on account of this. And he said, O Yahuwah, help us, for we have no strength to bear this evil that has encompassed us. For the waves of the waters have surrounded us, mischievous torments, rather torrents, have terrified us. The snares of death have come before us. Answer us, O Yahuwah. Answer us. Light up your countenance toward us and be gracious to us. Redeem us and deliver us. And Yahuwah hearkened to the voice of Noah, and Yahuwah remembered him. And a wind passed over the earth, and the waters were still, and the ark rested. And the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters decreased in those days, and the ark rested upon the mountains of Ararat. 
And Noah then opened the windows of the ark. And Noah still called out to Yahuwah at that time, and he said, O Yahuwah, who did form the earth and the heavens and all that are therein? Bring forth our souls from this confinement and from the prison wherein you have placed us. For I am much wearied with sighing. And Yahuwah hearkened to the voice of Noah and said to him, When you shall have completed a full year, you shall then go forth. And at the revolution of the year, when a full year was completed to Noah's dwelling in the ark, the waters were dried from off the earth. And Noah put off the covering of the ark. At that time, on the 27th day of the second month, the earth was dry, but Noah and his sons and those that were with him did not go out from the ark until Yahuwah told them. And the day came that Yahuwah told them to go out, and they all went out from the ark. And they went and returned everyone to his way and to his place. And Noah and his sons dwelt in the land that Elohim had told them. And they served Yahuwah all their days. And Yahuwah blessed Noah and his sons on their going out from the ark. And he said to them, Be fruitful and fill all the earth. Become strong and increase abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. <laughs>